Hey, this is Jordan from Zero to Hero Muscle. And in today's new training video, you're going to learn how to fix your posture with your mind. Yes, your mind. We've already discussed how to fix your posture physically and even with all the best tips and all the best tricks given in that training video, guys still fail to improve their posture. Why? Because they haven't improved up here. Now this lesson is taken directly from my upcoming training course, Zero to Hero, the muscle building blueprint for skinny guys. So if you haven't signed up for my priority wait list, make sure you click the link on your screen and add yourself to my email list before we run out of spaces. It only takes a few seconds. Now get ready to learn and enjoy this exclusive free training video. Bad posture seems to be a pretty common issue these days. Just take a look around and you'll see most guys are typically hunched over, curled up, head down, eyes down. Now sometimes these guys are average skinny guys and sometimes they're even pretty well built guys. So fitness level is irrelevant to the issue. There's another training video already up on my channel that helps you address all the things you can do physically in order to correct your posture. Most of which is meant to counteract all the things that most guys do wrong when training. But even with all the best solutions given in that training video, guys will still experience problems trying to improve their posture. Why? Well, when trying to improve your posture, the solution to fix it goes beyond just what you need to do physically. Like I just said, you could have the body of a shredded superhero and still have bad posture. Being fit and having bad posture is just as bad as having bad posture with any other body type. It compromises your entire physique. No one will ever see the impressiveness of that physique due to it being shrouded in a poor presentation, all shriveled up like this. The physical appearance of our bodies is a manifestation of our thoughts, our emotions, and our energy. Basically, the type of energy we focus on in our mentality is projected outwards in our appearance and the way we present ourselves. The important question here is, is your energy positive or is your energy negative? If you just take a brief moment to observe someone's appearance, you can get a pretty good idea of what that person's thoughts, emotions, and energy probably are. For example, just take a look at how most guys these days walk through the world. They're hunched over. They're looking down. Just from seeing that type of body language, you can already get a sense of a number of things. You'd think this guy has low self-esteem, low confidence, he's avoiding eye contact, he must not feel very good about himself. And of course, all of that negative energy is being translated into their appearance and it's what's creating and promoting that bad posture. On the other hand, you may see a guy who walks through the world with his chest out, chin up, and eyes forward, not afraid to make eye contact. Not in an overly compensating type of way, but in a relaxed yet very strong presence. Like it's just natural for him to walk through life that way. When you see a guy with body language like that, you'd think then, man, this guy has a lot of confidence. He has high self-esteem. He's got his stuff together. All of that positive energy is being projected through his appearance and it's what's creating and nourishing that good posture. You see what I'm getting at now? I realize this is an unconventional approach as a solution from what you may be used to hearing, but the reality of it is 100% true. The sad truth is most guys these days are average zeros. You can clearly see their negative, pessimistic, average zero mentalities reflected in their physiques, 
their posture, and especially the way they carry themselves throughout their lives. They think things like, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't transform myself. You know, I'm such a hard gainer, it's almost impossible for me to put on muscle mass. I don't have the right genetics to build muscle. I don't have what it takes to succeed. I can't succeed. And that weak mentality spreads inside them like a cancer and destroys their appearance like a plague. A sour body doesn't get that way all on its own. Sour thoughts can infect and destroy your appearance like a virus. On the flip side, super thoughts can invigorate and empower your appearance almost like some sort of superhero serum. There's a very small minority of real life superheroes out there, and you can see all of their positive, optimistic, superhero mentalities reflected in their physiques. These guys think things like, I am good enough. I can transform myself. You know, I might be a hard gainer, but I'll do whatever it takes to put on this mass. I might not have the best genetics to build muscle, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm not going to let that stop me from building the body that I want. I have what it takes to succeed. I will succeed. And that strong mentality radiates inside them like a superpower and it strengthens their appearance like a super fuel. Don't poison your posture with bad thoughts. Power it with positive ones. If you want a superhero body, you've got to cultivate a superhero mind. You can't build your body if you don't build your mind. What happens up here is going to dictate what happens here. Believing in yourself is the first step towards improving your posture, improving your body, and improving your life. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive lesson taken directly from my upcoming training course, Zero to Hero, The Muscle Building Blueprint for Skinny Guys. Again, if you haven't signed up for my priority wait list, make sure you click the link on your screen and add yourself to my email list right now before we run out of spaces. It literally takes just a few seconds. So do that right now and I will see you in the next training video.